I'm Pam Jackson. This is my family farm. We have 150 acres and uh, it's a mixed-use farm. We have hay and pasture land as well as row crop fields. I'm a fifth generation farmer. So my plans uh, for this farm moving forward are to run a grass-fed beef enterprise and we're going to do rotational grazing and that's part of the reason why this SARPEL program is so excellent because it's helped me set up those systems. SARPEL is an Environment and Climate Change Canada initiative focused on working with farmers to support the recovery of species at risk on agricultural landscapes. The program has been delivered by OSCIA since 2016 to over 150 Ontario producers. I heard about the SARPEL program through the Conservation Authority and also um, when I was at the Guelph Organic Conference I talked with the reps from Ontario Soil and Crop Improvement Association and learned about all the possible projects I could do on this farm. We've worked with Ontario Soil and Crop for approximately the last five years, supporting them on various cost share programs. One thing in particular that we've done a lot of is site visits to farmers across Ontario. The purpose of the site visits is to assess the BMPs that producers have implemented and determine how they're benefiting species at risk. Through the program, we actually did five projects on the farm um, over several years. We did mowing of encroaching trees and shrubs, which was really great to get the pastures back to a baseline because trees and shrubs were growing in, we needed to get those down. Then we did fencing, so we fenced uh, the cattle out of the wetland areas and the forested areas. We also did delay haying, so we left our hay to grow long to um, help with uh, ground nesting birds. And we also did um, setting up a rotational grazing plan, so I was able to get help from an agricultural consultant to set up that program. And the last project that we did was an extensive tree planting project to um, create a corridor for wildlife, specifically badger. When I was asked if I'd be interested and willing to participate in the site visits, there was no hesitation. I thought, why not? More information about your land and what species you have and what you have going on. Um, a walk and talk with a trained ecologist, it just seemed like a great idea to me. Coming out the day of the survey work with the ecologists and walking around with them, I gained so much appreciation for what we have on this farm and, and some of the corners of the farm that I've never even explored. Um, there was uh, an opportunity to go and look more closely at those spots and we found some really cool insects and um, tons of birds and some of the things that I've learned. We have a lot of bobolink on this farm and eastern meadowlark so the systems that I have set up are um, going to be hopefully to protect those species as much as we can and hopefully to increase those populations as we increase the quality of the grass that we have and the quality of the paddocks. So a huge benefit to being involved with the SARPEL program is that it's allowed me to kickstart this farm and get things going much faster than I would have on my own without it. We put in a lot of fence, we did a lot of tree planting and that's all benefits to the environment that would have taken longer to realize. So far we've found multiple species at risk at every site visit we've done, uh, which is really inspiring. Uh, species that we've seen a lot of are bobolink, eastern meadowlark, barn swallows, monarchs, and grasshopper sparrows. So by observing all these different species, it's evident that the BMPs are truly helping species at risk in Ontario. Most of the BMPs are actually designed to help with the farm's production while also providing species at risk with habitat. So it's really a win-win situation. My hope for this farm is that we, year after year, um, increase carbon sequestration in the soil to help with climate change, that we can protect the natural heritage features on the property and make them even better than they are now, that we increase our resiliency our water infiltration rates, all of these great things that come as a result to doing these best management practices, they're all gonna happen that much sooner because of help from this program.